I think experimental relationship is a performance for the camera. So both of us is almost like actors for this camera and I'm more like in a director role and he's more like an actor in my photos. But I would say he also contributes like some ideas in my photo as well. So in a way we're kind of collaborators. It started, I was just doing very goofy images, like a assignment for a class. I was using him in, like using my boyfriend as a, like a prop in my photos. Like I would ask him to do things that, that I think is very necessary for my photos. But um, like sometimes I'll ask him to um, go to a suitcase naked or just plain dead um, in the bathtub naked. <laughs> so, and when I show it to my teacher and classmate and their first reaction is, how can you treat your boyfriend like that? And I was very um, surprised because I didn't thought about that's not the right way to treat my boyfriend. And I thought it's, it's pretty, I don't know, I, I feel very natural to do that way between us. So then I realized this could be, you know, something that people are interested in is how I use him in my photograph. So I started to do this project. First of all, my parents are not around me anymore, so they cannot really say like, oh, you cannot do this or like, you know, and my friends, they won't see my work so immediately, so I don't get feedback from them. So I just show my work to my classmate, my teacher, and I get like uh, a response from people who really look at your work seriously in an art perspective instead of from a like personal um, reaction to your work. So that's how I start doing it. And I feel like I have a lot of um, a lot of freedom at the time because I'm not. I don't have so much peer pressure or pressure from family or you know anything like that. I think photography. I like it because it's it's something I, I can do um, and I can have control in it and. I think it's almost like a therapy for people. Um, like anybody can be a photographer and they, they can be all different types of photographers depending on what type of person they are. So it's kind of like a self-exploration process. His um, least favorite one is that papaya photo. Um, and that the reason he gave me is because he said he had a very bad hair day. A couple of days ago, um, my boyfriend Mauro just asked me, he said, do you think you, you're gonna be this famous without meeting me? And I thought about it. <laughs> I said, I don't know. Um, but I definitely cannot make the work I'm making right now without meeting him, without like, you know, all these years and uh, we met in Memphis, this is, this is how the fate is.